another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pop! Today, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story of the Black Canyon Gang. Say, what's as good at snack time as Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops? You said it, more Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Crisp, crunchy, and already sweetened. They're terrific right out of the box or in a bowl with milk. Get yourself a big box of Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops today and save that box top. Tell you why a little later, and believe me, you'll want to hear why, because it's big news. Right now, though, let's join Wild Bill and Jingles. Upholding the law in the Old West was really a full-time job, and many's the time Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles were away from home for days and even months at a time. The famous United States Marshal and his big deputy made up for it, though, when they got to a small western town where they could stay at a hotel and enjoy a regular meal for a change. It was just such a stop on one of their trips that started them on the trail of the Black Canyon Gang. Boy, oh boy, I can just see that cook out in the kitchen frying my steak right now. How oh, why don't he hurry? You said you wanted it medium well done. I know, but after three weeks on the trail eating cold beans and salt pork, I can't wait anymore. Maybe I should have asked for it rare. I think you can live a few more minutes without starving, Jingles. On every minute I get hungrier, though. Hey, I told him I wanted a steak as big as my hat and just as thick. <laughs> I ain't sure that'll be enough now. It's thinking about food that makes you hungry, Jingles. Forget about that steak. Think real hard about something else, and you won't be hungry at all. Oh, I don't believe that. When I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm not fooling. It really works. Why don't you try it? Oh, that sounds silly, Bill, but, well, I'll try it while I'm waiting for my steak. What do I do? Just forget all about that steak and think real hard about something else. Anything else. All right. I'm thinking... I'm a thinking real hard. Fine. How do you feel now? Hungry. You sure you weren't thinking about that steak? No, sir. No, sir, E. Bob. I was thinking about something entirely different. What? Pork chops. Oh, fine. You might just as well stay hungry. Hey, hey, here comes the cook. Look at those steaks, Bill. Relax, partner. You want to take it easy. You'll get a stomachache if you get too excited. Look at the sight. That's great. Jinks. Listen. No, not now. Somebody's doing a lot of shooting out there. Oh, let them shoot. Come on, partner. Let's go see what it's all about. Oh, Bill, this is no time to go shining your badge. That sounds like real trouble. Let's go. All right, but I don't like it. What if I get out there and all that lead and get killed? I might never get back to eat my steak. There's a crowd around the bank. Come on. Bill, uh, there's somebody lying in the doorway. Yeah, and somebody else inside has been shot at. Must have been a bank holdout. Looks like it. Can we get through here, mister? I don't know what fur. Them gun slicks got all the money in the bank. Did anybody see the bandits? Well, sure. They rode into town like they was going to a Sunday school picnic. We saw who it was. We just kept out of their way. They're killers, that gang. What gang are you talking about? Bart Masters and the Black Canyon gang. Oh, Bill, I've heard of them. They've been robbing and killing all over this part of the country. That's right, that's right. And this time it wasn't no different. They walked into the bank, gunned down the teller, and the manager scooped up all the money inside. That's the way they usually work. Then they headed south, out of town, probably back to the hideout they got somewhere up in Black Canyon. Well, gee whiz, didn't anybody try to stop them? Well, sure. Sure, them two poor fellas in the bank, and then Sheriff Ames took out after them just as they was coming out. Where's the sheriff now? That's him lying in the doorway. Dead. I see. Get the horses, Jingles. Oh, what for, Bill? We're hitting the trail. And it's liable to be a long time before you get back to that stake. That tasted good, even cold. It sure did. Aren't you glad I took time to run in and grab the steak before we left town? Yeah. 
But I'm afraid Masters and his gun hands got a good start on us while you were doing it. Well, you don't really want to catch that Black Canyon gang, do you, Bill? Of course I do. They're nothing but a bunch of no-good murderers. But, Bill, there must be five or six of them, and they'd just as soon kill us as not. Of course they would. I ain't never been murdered before, and, well, I don't think I'd like it. We'll try our best to stay alive, partner. Pull up for a minute. Who, what shot? Who? Oh, Joker, easy, boy. What are you stopping here for, Bill? You haven't been watching the trail, Jingles. No. This is where five horses turned off the main trail and headed for the hills. That narrow pass in the rocks up there must be the mouth of Black Canyon. Golly, you just notice everything, don't you, Bill? Well, it pays to keep your eyes open, partner. Now we know how many men we're chasing, and we know that they're ahead of us. Well, I just hope they stay ahead for a while. I'm in no hurry to tangle with them. That's what we came out here for, though. Let's go. Hup, buckshot, hi. Oh, get along, Joker. Bill, that sure is rough country up in there. Sure is. Looks like the good Lord dumped all his leftover rocks in there. And some of them are as big as a house. They stand up every which way. It's going to be tough to follow our trail through all that rock. Yeah, and something else. What's that? Those rocks are just perfect to hide behind and shoot at certain people from. Certain people like us. Yeah, certain people like us. All right, Jingles. Let's find some rocks to get behind ourselves. Go, Buckshot, go. Hit for cover, Joker. Ha, ha, ha. Wranglers, it takes more than a six-shooter and a horse to be on the official side of the law. It takes what Wild Bill carries. Yep, a marshal's badge. So hold your horses, because the Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops folks are fixing for you to have a genuine Wild Bill Hickok Marshal's badge, the same as Wild Bill himself has. It's a beaut, too, Wranglers. Great big six-pointer star, all silvery shining and solid as a nugget. And around the edge, engraved real deep and fancied up with black enamel, it reads Marshal Wild Bill Hickok. And that's not the half of it. Got a picture of Wild Bill and Jingles built right in. And say, just to keep your badge bright and shining, or so you can carry it in your pocket when you want to operate secret, you get a mighty fancy simulated brown leather badge carrying case. It's stamped with the official Wild Bill insignia. And with the case, you get the badge and an identification and membership card with Wild Bill's signature. Now, getting your own badge is easy as pie. Just mail the top from your Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops package and 25 cents to Kellogg's, Box 306, Battle Creek, Michigan. But don't you be pokey, Wranglers. Send for your Wild Bill Hickok Marshall's badge today. This offer is good only in those areas permitting such offers. <laughs> When Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles started out to trail Bart Masters and his gang of bank robbers, they were ambushed at the entrance to Rocky Black Canyon. While the five bandits poured lead down on them, they spurred their horses toward the shelter of the huge boulders at the mouth of the canyon. Oh, them bullets sure go key hauling off them rocks, Bill. They'll make a nasty hole if they hit you, too. Head for that big rock, Jingles. This'll do. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. Tie the horses so they can't move out and get hit. We're safe here. Safe, he says. Bill Hickok, nobody is safe if they go trailing around the country with you. There we were sitting in a nice warm hotel, and here we are now hiding behind them. Huh? Did you say something? Yeah, I just made a 30-30 remark to one of those polecats up in the rocks. How do they feel about it? I don't know. There's one of them that doesn't have a hat anymore. <laughs> Inch lower and he wouldn't have a head. Hey, let me get in on this, too. How you doing? Oh, this is fun. Every time a hat comes up, I shoot, and every time I shoot, pound goes the hat. <laughs> Try it again. I want to take a look at those hats. Okay. Now, well, there's one now. Yeah, I see it. Take a shot at it. Well, one more bandit gone. I'll have them cleaned out in no time. I'm afraid not, partner. That's an old trick they're pulling on you. What do you mean? Those hats came up straight. Well, of course they did. One of those varmints stuck his head up over the rock with his hat on it. No, he didn't. When you raise your head with a hat on it, that hat tilts back. Try it sometime. But, Bill, I... Those hats were on a stick. Oh. They came up straight, and you're wasting your precious ammunition putting more holes in the same old hats. Well, I'll be doggone. Well, cheer up, Jingles. That tells us one thing. What's that? 
Bart Masters and his gang have gone on up the canyon, and they've left one man behind to stop us and pull that hat trick. Well, if there's only one, let's get him. He won't wait for that. He's just there to slow us up. And he's probably pulling out right now to join the rest of the gang. Well, let's go get all of them, then. Up to now, I ain't been very interested. But now that they made a fool out of me with their old hat trick, I'm just mad clean through. Come on, Bill. Bart Masters and his gang are going to find out that they have to reckon with Jingles Jones. Come on, Joker, come on. Damn, blame it, Bill. Those bank robbing coyotes just disappeared. We've poked our nose in every rock pile in Black Canyon. No, we haven't, partner. Black Canyon is a mighty big place. We may have to keep this up for days until we cut the trail again. Oh, fine. That means more trail rations before we get back to town and good food again. I'm afraid so. Hey, wait a minute. Woo, Buckshot, woo. Oh, Joker. Now what do you see, Bill? Look there around the bend in the canyon. Hey, Bill. Hey, it's a man, one of them robbers. I don't think so. He looks like an old desert rat to me. Yeah. You know, with that white hair and that beard, he could be a hermit. Maybe he's seen the gents we're after. Let's go ask him. Hmm, all right. Get along, Joker. Let's go, Buckshot. Go, boy. Bill, if this old boy has seen Bart Masters and his gang, why didn't they shoot him? They're trigger-happy killers, Jingles, but I don't think they'd gun down an old man. Well, we'll soon find out if he knows anything about him. Howdy, old-timer! He waved back, Jingles, but he didn't move. Easy, Buckshot. Oh, hold it, Joker. Yeah, howdy, gents. Get off your horses and set a spell. We can't stay long, mister. We're trailing a bunch of mavericks that held up a bank. Tank? What I need with a tank? The water comes out of that spring, runs in these two pools and the rocks, disappears down in the canyon there. It ain't a big spring, but it's always got water in it. <laughs> don't need no tank. Bill, he don't hear very good, does he? I'm afraid not, partner. Hi, speak up, you two. Stop mumbling. We're looking for bank bandits. Oh, bank bandits. There ain't no banks in Black Canyon. I know it. They hide up in here. How can you hide a bank up here in the canyon? I've been here ten years now. Found this spring when I was prospecting for gold. Staked out my claim right away. Best spot I found in 50 years of prospecting. That's fine, but we're not looking for gold mines. Well, that's good, Sonny. That's good, because I ain't got no gold mine. I staked claim here because I got plenty of fresh water. Why don't you fellas take off your boots and dangle your feet in the water like me? Sorry, but we haven't got time. Fine, of course it's fine. Take off your boots, try it. It's fine. Hey, Bill, you know, it looks like it might be fun at that. My feet are awful hot. Go ahead if you want to, Jingles. We can't chase Masters and his gang in the dark anyhow. You're mumbling again. Well, I'll take my boots off and try out your pool, old timer. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. What do you mean I'm right? I'm just a fool, old timer. Spent all my life looking for gold and never found any. <laughs> but I'm happy. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with just sitting here with my feet in the water and taking life easy, is there? Not a dad blamed thing wrong with you. I it. said, anything wrong with just sitting I here? I heard you. I, I heard you the first time, you, Pop. Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, I did say so. You old goat. It, who's an old goat? Uh, I thought you was hard to hear. I can hear pretty good when I want to. Oh. Sort of comes and goes. Look, old timer. My name's Rocky. Okay, Rocky. I said my name, Rocky, from all my prospecting. You know, rocks. That's why they call me Rocky. <laughs> kind of crazy, too, ain't he, Bill? Yeah, what's your name? Hickok's the name. Wild Bill Hickok, that is, and I'm Jingle. <laughs> Don't ever let you hear and go back on you. Sure plays funny tricks. I just sworn you said you was Wild Bill Hickok and Jingle. Well, that's who we are. Well, I'm glad you what? Well, what do you know? I've been hearing about you for years. Why don't you tell me who you was? We just did. Look, Rocky, maybe you can help us. Sure, maybe I can. Have you seen a gang of men right in or out of this canyon? Well, let me see. Was there five of them? I think so. Riding lathered horses? That sounds right. Have you seen them? Sure. Stopped here about a half hour before you come. Watered their horses and rode on up into the canyon. Bill, those are the Jaspers we're looking for. Sounds like them. Now, look, Rocky, I think those men are Bart Masters and his gang. They're killers and bank robbers. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. Well, yeah, that's all very interesting. Wild Bill, but I can tell you something about them hombres, too. What's that? That bunch of no goods is Bart Masters and his gang. They're killers and bank robbers. Look, Jingles, we're huh? wasting time here. Get your boots back on and let's ride before it gets dark. Okay, Bill, I'll just... Get on, Jingles. 
Yeah, somebody's shooting at us. Stop talking, you dead blurred Indians, and get down. Somebody's shooting at us. I am down. If I go any lower, I'll be buried. Yeah, that guy can shoot. Don't stick your head up. Stop yapping at us and worry about your own head. I'm going to send a few shots back myself. I'm with you there, Rocky. Let's dust them off. Hey, you shoot real good, Rocky. You don't have to yell at me now, Jingle. Shooting always clears up my head and I can hear real good. Well, if that's the case, Bill, let's shoot at those lizards some more and shake up Rocky's hearing again. Well, they don't like to be shot at, do they? No, they don't. And they've got us in a bad spot. As soon as it gets dark, the five of them can sneak up on us and have us outnumbered. Yeah, and we can't round them up now because they've holed up in those rocks. (laughs) What are you giggling about, you old goat? I'm just thinking that if they get us, I'll probably go down in history as a man who got killed with Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles. <laughs> that ain't funny. I say it ain't funny. Keep your heads down, both of you, or that little joke is liable to come true. Hey, cowpokes, wonder if your Kellogg's sugar corn pops held out since the beginning of the show. <laughs> Mine didn't. Finished a whole box, and I'm digging into my second one now. Uh, it's a good thing I always keep an extra box of these new Kellogg's sugar corn pops handy. Hope you do, too, so as you never run out. Sugar corn pops make mighty good eating any way you like. Out of the box like candy or out of the bowl, they're just plum wonderful. And say, pull up there. Don't forget... These big new yellow boxes of Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops have got handsome, real-life pictures of Guy Madison and Andy Devine in full color. Yes, sir. So you always know you're on the right trail when you see them in the store. Load up big on Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops at the store tomorrow for a heap of downright delicious fun. Yippee! Sugar Pops. They're sugar-coated, taste so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Oh, boy, they're neat. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Now Sugar Pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Pinned down by the fire of the well-hidden bank bandits, Jingles, Bill, and their new friend Rocky are in a dangerous spot. They can't move from where they are, and the approaching darkness will give their enemies a chance to spread out and sneak up on them. Suddenly, Bill notices something that he hasn't seen before. Boy, they shoot straight. Those last shots came from farther up the canyon wall. They're crawling up so they can shoot down on us. Yeah, that's going to get real dangerous. They're heading for that little cave up there. That ain't no cave. That's my mine shaft. I thought you said you didn't find any gold. Who said anything about gold? I can dig a mine, can't I? Sure, but if you... Rocky, is there another entrance to that tunnel? Sure, right over there to your left. I dug a room in the side of the cliff, and I keep all my tools there. The two tunnels are connected by a drift I dug through the rock. Jingles, you and Rocky stay here and keep them busy. I'm going through that tunnel and surprise those gents. Well, take me with you, Bill. I want to crack at them, too. Yeah, take him along, Bill. I can throw enough lead to make them think you're still here. Okay, Rocky. I'll make it sound good. Sure, that'll be fun. Besides, the shooting keeps my ears open up real good. Open up, then, Rocky, and we'll run for the shaft over here. Have you seen us, Bill? Yeah, but they don't know about that shaft. Hurry it up. I'm hurrying. I don't like that lead flying around my ears. Here we are. Inside, quick. We're going to have to hurry now or they'll swarm down on Rocky. Yeah, gee, look at all the tools and things. Look here. Dynamite. Grab some, partner, and let's go. I see light up ahead, Jingles. That's the other end. Yeah, right over Masters and his gang's head, huh? I hope so. Be quiet now. Hickok and that big fat deputy of his. I saw him in town at the hotel. I don't care who they are. We've got them now, and we'll teach them and all those hicks in town a lesson. This canyon's my territory. Nobody follows me up here and lives to tell about it. Is that so, Masters? 
Throw down your guns. It's Hickok above us. Then I'm coming down. Step back in the tunnel, Jingles. Oh, there's too many of them. You can't hit us, Masters. Throw down your guns and start down the hill or I'll drop a stick of dynamite on you. What are you talking about? You haven't got any dynamite. You're bluffing. Strike a match, Jingles. I'm not bluffing. Start down that hill right now. Stick your head out and try to make me do it. I'll blow your brains out. You've had your warning. Here comes the dynamite. You're not fooling me, Hickok. We'll get you as soon as it's dark. Am I still bluffing, Masters? No. No, no, no. You got us, Hickok. We give up. I threw that stick over your heads, but I've got plenty more, so don't try any tricks. Rocky? Yeah, Bill? Meet the Jaspers at the bottom of the slope. We'll follow them down and keep them covered. Bill, what you said just then is the first thing I've heard since you set off that blast. I guess it left me kind of deep. Five of them, all tied up tight and ready to be delivered to jail. I never would have believed it. Well, that's the way Bill does things, Rocky. Well, we can just sit here and relax till morning. I think we'll take turns watching that gang just in case they get any ideas. Oh, sure. But Jingles can dangle his feet in the water a while longer, can't he? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, you ought to try this, Bill. It sure feels good. Yeah, it's real relaxing, that's what it is. I like my little old spot in the canyon. I'm going to keep it just the way it is. Well, ain't you going to dig out any of the gold? I thought you said there wasn't any gold in here, Rocky. Oh, I guess I didn't tell you. You were busy tying up the prisoners. You didn't tell me what. When you threw that dynamite down into the canyon, you blasted open the prettiest vein of gold quartz I ever seen in all my years of prospecting. Well, congratulations, Rocky. You'll be rich now. Uh, not me. I'll just dig out a little when I need it. <laughs> and, and, and not only that, Bill, you threw that dynamite stick so close to Rocky, well, the blast opened up his ears for good. He'll be able to hear us coming the next time we're in this part of the country, and, well, and I want to stop and dangle my feet in the water hole. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. What's our story for Friday, Andy? Oh, this one's about a court verdict that led Wild Bill into plenty of gunfighting and trouble. It's called Alkali Justice. Meanwhile, Andy and I hope you remember to get Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops. Right, it's a great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Sugar Corn Pops are great. So long. See you Friday. <laughs> Yes, sir, Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Cliff Arquette, Lou Krugman, Paul Dubov, and Jack Moyles. Our story was written and directed by Paul Pierce, music by Dick O'Rant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Don't forget to listen Friday, same time, same station, when Wild Bill Hickok faces Alkali Justice. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops, the cereal with the sweetening already on it. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal. And Kellogg's Corn Flakes, America's favorite ready-to-eat cereal. (laughs) 